Bismuth is interesting because it is the heaviest element that is not radioactive. And it is used um, particularly in an alloy which called wood's metal, which is a very low melting um, alloy, will even melt in boiling water. And there were endless practical jokes where you could buy wood's metal spoons and you give it to somebody to stir their tea and it melted in their tea and they looked surprised. So here is a very old sample of bismuth. This is a bismuth rod and you can see it's packed up really quite nicely but we can open this and we can go in and have a look to see what it is, you know. So here, if we pull it out carefully. <laughs> see bismuth. Really old sample from Johnson Matthew. Now let's see if we can find out what the purity is. So it's a 99.9%, really quite nice sample of bismuth rod. Bismuth, surprisingly, is not very poisonous compared to the fact that um, lead is very poisonous. And so there are some suggestions that we should be exploring more the chemistry of bismuth as a catalyst, because if it works well, then it could be used in chemical processes with much less danger than some of these other materials. So if we can push it out from this old paper packaging and you can see it's packaged really quite nicely, here you can see the bismuth metal itself. Bismuth is used is in catalysis to, to attenuate um, selective reactions, so perhaps we might use bismuth with a platinum group metal like palladium or platinum even to make chemistry go a little bit more selectively. It's a really beautiful element though, really nice. So we'll pop that back in there nice and safe. Radioactivity can be imagined, and this was Lisa Meitner, the thought of this model in the very early stages of radioactivity. You can imagine the nucleus, the center of the atom, rather like a blob of water. And if you imagine a drop of water, as it gets bigger and bigger, it becomes unstable and will easily split into two. And it just happens that bismuth is the larger size that's not radioactive.